Hello, everybody. everybody. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, dog. It's Friday. Yay. Happy TDIF, everyone. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my gosh. So happy it's Friday and another craft day. I'm super excited. Um, Hillary and I are just bubbling over. This is going to be a really fun, easy, super easy, fun craft uh, today. Uh, I don't think I can say the word fun enough because it's <laughs> not only going to be fun to make, but your dogs are going to love it. Yes. Um, so if you don't know who we are, I'm Patty Quinn, and I'm here with the amazing and adorable Hillary Buholtz. Hello, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> and we are the co-founders of We Heart Hounds. We come here every Friday in honor of our love for pups and do all kinds of wonderful things like crafts and recipes and, and all product reviews, all kinds of fun, wonderful things. Um, if you haven't heard of us before, share, sprinkle the love, um, let all your dog friends and dog moms and dog dads know about us. Um, the more the merrier. And uh, yeah. it really does help us out a lot. So um, let's jump right into it. This is going to be a really fun one today we've um, scoured the shelves at Dollar Tree and found our two favorite items. So this is another <laughs> Dollar Tree DIY that we're really excited about. So for two whole dollars, you can make a really fun, amazing, interactive dog toy for your pups um, that they will just go bananas for. So the uh, I think we're calling it a crisscross snuffle dog toys is, yep. what, is what we're calling it. And um, basically, you're going to want to go to Dollar Tree and get one of the little wire baskets that they have. And so I've got a little short one because for my little Chewini and Hillary's got a little bigger one uh, yep. for her adorable Basset Lulu. <laughs> uh, so get whatever size works best for you. They come in different colors and all that kind of stuff. Um, they have a nice little coating on them. Mm -hmm. So they are fairly, they're somewhat washable and all that kind of stuff, which is good. Um, and you can see we kind of started uh, early uh, just to get a leg up on some of the, the stuff that we're going to be doing. But basically what you're going to do is the other supply is to get a baby blanket from Dollar Tree. These little lovely fleecy blankets. They're so sweet, so soft um, and make the perfect fleece for this uh, project. Yep. And uh, basically you're going to just cut them into uh, one inch strips, about one in a, one inch, one and a half inches wide. So you're just going to cut strips and then you're going to want some to start with that are about four inches long, just some yeah. little ones uh, to start with. And we're going to cover the base uh, of our basket. And one of the things that you'll notice when you get your fleece, um, the blanket, it'll have a certain amount of give one direction. So that'll make your little fleece strips a little stretchier. So mm -hmm. I would recommend you can feel like as you pull it, it's got some give going that way, then cut your strips along this direction. When you pull it this way, it, it doesn't have that give. So mm -hmm. it's just to give the give the fleece strips a little bit a of little, stretch and yeah. give to them. Yeah, exactly. So basically what we're doing is we're gonna be tying knots. We're gonna poke your um, small little piece into the bottom of your uh, basket. And then we're going to do the same um, with the other end of the fleece and a hole right next to it. So you've got two little fleece strips sticking up like little grass, uh, blades of grass. And then you're just going to tie a simple knot. I know this is kind of hard to see. So you can. So you can see some of the knots. Yeah. In the bottom. So you can tell we're just putting them through and tying little knots, just a single knot for each one of these. And we're just gonna kind of randomly fill the base. You don't have to fill every single one. Yep, exactly. Just enough to kind of give, just to, 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 to have fabric pretty much scattered everywhere across the bottom. And if you guys are not familiar with Snuffle Toys, which is what we're creating here, it's it's a toy that'll help give your dog a chance to do some nose work. And that's the idea with this one is all these little sort of fleece blades of grass down at the bottom. That'll help them kind of snuffle around in there and try to find the treats that we're going to put in there. Yeah, exactly. And it'll help so, so that some of the treats don't fall through. Yep. Um, so basically what you want to do is just randomly, again, it doesn't have to fill in every little spot, but just poke both ends through the bottom, up through the middle, tie a single knot. And my little basket's so small, it's hard to get my fingers in here. 
and you can kind of look on the bottom if if you feel like is there any spaces that I that I need to fill in so I have kind of a large gap right here so I'm going to put just a couple in this area but it's a little bit easier sometimes to look from the bottom side yeah to see where you need to fill in yeah and there's my inside it's pretty full that's kind of what you want to do. You want to prevent treats from fl slipping through. And you also want to find you're, you're creating lots of little nooks and crannies for treats to hide. And then there's my, the, the backside here. So you can see not every little hole is filled in. Um, and as Hillary said, if you turn it over, you can kind of see where you might need to add one or two more. So, Hey Vicki, so happy to have you with us today. Thanks for being here. And she was one of our giveaway winners. If you're not familiar with us, we do giveaways all the time. So be sure to click the link to sign up for our newsletter so that you find out exactly when the next ones are. And actually, we have one coming up in, yep. about, a, in about a week or so. I'm really excited. It's a big one. Yep. So <laughs> it's a great uh, one. Yeah, it is. All right. So here we go. We've got the, the base of our basket full now with little kind of fleecy grass at the bottom. And then we're going to cut some longer strips. Basically, you want it to be about two to three inches longer on both sides than your basket. Um, obviously, my basket has a short side and a long side, and I just picked the longest side. Yeah. Uh, and, and then we're going to grab one of these fleece strips. And you're going to start about halfway up your basket. And you're going to tie a knot on one end. So again, you're gonna take the fleece through one end, put it through another hole, tie a knot. Yeah. So Hillary was faster than I was. So you can see there's just a knot on one side. And then I'm gonna go across to the other side and put it through one hole, stick the end through another hole, and then tie a knot again. And this is where the give in your fabric will really help you out um, it, if it stretches a little bit more. And try to make it as tight as you can. It's not gonna be super tight and that's okay. Um, and then if you wanna stick the end of your knots, pull those out so that they're on the outside of your basket, that's, you know, that's fine, that might help you time a little more taut. Let's see, you could go on straight across. Well, mine's a little cockeyed, but that's okay. <laughs> <laughs> Your pops won't care. It doesn't have to be exact. Um, and so then basically, we're just gonna, we picked a direction, and we're just gonna follow that direction across our basket. So Hillary's, even though Hillary's round, she's gonna follow that same line and go across her basket. Um, and we're just gonna make a row that's, um, that's just like that all the way across. And again, you just and they don't in. have to be super close together. So you can you can give, you know, a little bit of space between each one. Yeah. And honestly, if you think your pup is really good at puzzles, the more fleecy strips you add and the closer you put them together, the, you know, the the more challenging the puzzle will be. Yeah. But so you can see I've got my second one just pulled through there. And Here's Taylor and I are, oh good, yeah. I'm just whipping these through pretty quickly. And I love that, you know, these are so colorful. The, the fleece that um, Dollar Tree has is, there's lots of different choices actually. Yeah, I baby, was surprised that they, that they, they had quite as much selection. So you can, you can customize it for your pup. <laughs> yeah, yeah. All right. And I like that they have different size baskets. So uh, your tiny pups the sh with short legs. Now you have a short leg pup, but she's not so tiny. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right, I'll probably add one, one last one on this, this side.
and you might notice I'm not tying knots right now, uh, just to make it a little faster as we're doing this, yeah. but I will for the, yeah, you definitely need to, to make, to actually them. secure them. Yeah. yeah. So you can see, so mine's a little, um, has a few more than Hillary's and that's perfectly fine. My dog also has a smaller face, a smaller nose, so she can get into smaller spaces. So kind of think about the size of your dog's snout and, you know, and them going in here looking for, for treats. All right, so then the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go the other way. Hi, Dorothy, it's good to have you here with us. Thanks for uh, being here with us. And I'm so happy that you like the idea. This is really fun, super yeah. easy. We're making a little snuffle interactive dog toy. All right, so now we're gonna go the other direction. So whichever direction you started with, we're gonna, we're gonna pick the opposite direction this time. And we're gonna go a little higher up uh, on the on the basket. And again, we're just going to tie a knot on one end. So you can see I'm going the opposite direction. I've got one knot tied. I'm going to go across. So there's mine. Oh, perfect. Yeah, that'll be cute. All right, and then if you want, you can stick that end out just to get, make it a little easier to, to tug on. And there you go. And then we're gonna just keep, keep plugging along. And again, Hillary and I aren't gonna necessarily tie these just so we can give you the idea what it looks like when, they're, when it's all filled out. We're just kind of looping these through right now which you can do too, but it's more secure if you, if you tie knots. If you actually tie the knots. Yeah. I would definitely recommend. There's a lot of give. Yeah. Uh, so I would definitely recommend tying. The well, knots. yeah. And your pups could pull, pull these out. Exactly. You know? So, uh, which is fine, but it doesn't make it as uh, challenging or, or fun. I think for your pups, these are supposed to be brain games, right? So we're trying yeah. to do things that are, and I love these because not only can you do them in the summertime when it's sunny and fun and nice outside, but uh, these are great for the, the days when you when the weather's not so good, it's stormy or rainy or icy or cold, or maybe even too hot to be outside. Yeah. Um, these are really great. And we've made a number of these snuffle toys before, uh, different styles, different, different colors, different shapes. Um, and they just are really big winners. Our pups just love them. So for Lulu, she's a really timid pup and she doesn't tend to play with toys very much, but snuffle toys are the one thing that she loves and she loves to interact. It's, it's a nice way because these ones are, um, you definitely supervise while they're playing yeah. with these types of toys. So it's yeah. easy one to get her involved in and trying to use her nose and she's pretty food motivated. So if you have a dog that's kind of timid, uh, I've, I find that snuffle toys are one of the best things that you can do to kind of help get them out of their shell a little bit and, and interact with you. Yeah. So. All right. Yay. And here's mine. So you can see there's spaces. We're not doing a basket weave, right? We're not weaving right. in and out to create a solid surface. We're just going in the opposite direction. We've got a layer that's going one way. We've got another layer that's going another way. And one's lower on the basket, one's higher on the basket. So there's spaces in between. Um, but, but this is it. This is yep. it. We're done. Um, so now the only thing left to do is grab some treats. We just got our favorite little and dry ones. You want to make sure they're dry, dry treats and something kind of small. And, yeah. um, or if they're bigger, just kind of figuring, obviously you don't want to feed them a ton of huge treats. Uh, kibble is another thing that would work. If you have dry kibble that you use yeah. for your pup, that's another thing that would work really well in this too. Yeah. And these would make good slow feeders too. So if you yep. have a pup that gobbles up their kibble, you can always put them in a, in a snuffle toy like this. And I'm going to see if I can get, I'm going to put some, the table can be a little slippery for my little girl, but I'm going to bring her out and see if she'll want to play. Hi. This is Ginger. She's got her little, <laughs> her little hot dog bandana on today. Uh, I think a couple days ago it was national hot dog. Yep. National hot dog day. So she's celebrating. So there you go, sweetheart. 
you want to play and you might need to teach that you might want need to she's played with this before so she knows how to play but you might want to have your pups watch you put the treats inside yep. if they've never done it before you want to make have them be successful so kind of show them maybe where they are if they're scared at first but once they get the idea of how to play they are gonna have a blast with this yep. and it's gonna be so much fun um now this one does move on the carpet you might all right now i'm holding it in place to help her out uh, but they can flip it and toss it and turn it if they want. Mm -hmm. You know, it's totally up to you uh, to clean it. I would say take it outside and kind of shake it uh, real well. You can always kind of uh, wash it, you know, hand wash it um, with soap and water and then just let it air dry. The basket itself is washable, but it's nothing you could put like in a washing machine or things right. like that. Right. And as we mentioned, like these are definitely for supervising, like because they could pull the fleece all the way out, those right. sorts of things. So you just want to be careful about that sort of thing. But yeah, as long as as long as you've got a little supervision, this is something that will keep them entertained <laughs> for sure. <laughs> He's loving it. And I actually cut my little our little treats into fourths. So they were even super tinier because she just doesn't you know, I don't want to feed her a ton of treats either. So, you know, use, uh, leave it up to you to decide, you know, how many or how few you want to use. Yep. Um, and then, um, yeah, they'll just have the best time ever. These are so yep. much fun. Um, thanks so much for being with us today. Yeah. Um, it's always fun, uh, doing crafts and especially in honor of our love for pups with you. Yep. Um, we hope. And actually we do you. have a couple of questions. So Bristol girl, oh, says yeah. she loves ginger. Uh -huh. <laughs> thanks. He loves you too. And then yeah. Mindy asked um, what type of fabric we used. So we just grabbed a baby blanket from the Dollar Tree. So both the basket yeah. and the fleece that we're using are both from the Dollar Tree. So, so two bucks and you've got your, your, your own little snuffle toy. Yeah, so, yeah. exactly. It's, and obviously tying them uh gingers made some pretty big holes in here yep. because they weren't tied tight but yeah this is just so fast so easy i mean how how quickly did it take us to put this together right and yep. in an after in a, in a few minutes you can have a really fun toy for your pup to play with all the time so yeah. thanks everybody for being with us i hope this inspired you to go out this weekend rent a dollar tree get a couple supplies or tear up an old t-shirt or sweatshirt whatever you've yep. got around the house um and have some fun put, making your own interactive dog toy for your for your favorite foof and as Patty mentioned, we do have a whole playlist full of all kinds of fun ideas. There's a bunch of snuffle toy ideas in that playlist as well. So please check them out. Let us know if you end up making these because we love seeing your guys' dogs enjoy yeah. these as well. Yeah, so, exactly. Yeah. Thanks, have everybody. Have a great weekend. Take care. Bye-bye. <laughs> Bye. Oh, my goodness. That was a big yawn. <laughs>